Hello church, I am Stephen Scott. I'm the Family Ministries Pastor here for Westside and it is my privilege to share some of the ways that God has been moving and continues to move um, through this congregation. Now 2020 has been a year like no other. It's been a year full of the unexpected, but one thing we know for sure is that God was not surprised by 2020. One of the core values we have as a congregation and as a church is to be a church that cares about our community. But at the start of 2020, the opposite was true. We actually were a church that was being cared for by our community. Over the course of three months, we had 12 different pastors representing 10 different congregations here in town come and preach messages of hope, uh, of encouragement, and of love to us. And with the, the stay home order, when we were all sent into quarantine, uh, as a church, we had to pivot. We transitioned from meeting in person to doing church services online. And we just wanna say thank you for the grace, uh, thank you for the patience that you had with us, and thank you for staying engaged with us for all of those months where online church was the only option. In addition to helping to provide emotional and spiritual um, needs, I am pleased to tell you that Westside was able to meet the need of every benevolence request that we received. We were able to send out over $16,000 to over 55 different individuals and families in our community. So through your faithful giving week after week, uh, you are meeting real physical needs here in our congregation and in our community. As summer drew near, uh, we knew that we needed to have a plan to regather. And part of our plan of regathering included a phase called Church at Homes. Hi, I'm Anita Vanderzeel. And I'm Gary Vanderzeel. We have been so blessed to have a church at homes at our home in our backyard. And we just had a great time being able to fellowship together. The togetherness that uh, we were designed for. Obviously, uh, it wasn't just our home. It was homes across uh, Traverse City and beyond, whether it was somebody's garage or backyard. And it was just a joy to really get to know somebody and just talk about the goodness of God. We had over 16 different households that volunteered to host these church at home groups and we had over 180 people participate. September was an exciting time for us. Not only did Pastor Justin and Val decide to move to Traverse City and lead here at Westside, but we knew we were going to be able to gather together inside our building. And so on September 20th, after 27 weeks of not being able to do so, we were able to, to come together inside our worship center for Sunday morning services. Now, some of you might not know this, but it takes over 50 volunteers for Sunday morning to happen the way that it does week in and week out. And so we're grateful and we're thankful for the committed volunteers that we have of serving those who come through our doors every single week. Hi, I'm Richard, and I have the great joy of being able to lead the greeter team here at Westside Community Church. I've always thought that the greeter team was the most fun volunteer job you can have because if you love people as much as I do, it gives you that opportunity to connect one-on-one -on -one with the entire Westside family. We also get the opportunity to share and show the love that Jesus has for them through us. And it might seem like 2020 was a year where we stopped ministry or where we hit the pause button, but the opposite is actually true. We've been able to help over 50 individuals and families who are experiencing financial hardship. We've provided counseling for dozens of individuals and helped strengthen and restore marriages here in our congregation. We had 44 people make the decision to become full members of our church and 20 people made the decision to be baptized. We have 130 people who uh, participated in our midweek ministries that took place this fall and our volunteer base is strong at 200 plus. 2020 has been a fruitful year for Westside and we look forward to seeing what God has in store for us in 2021.